Hey, little tramps! Today we are going to talk about Rob Reiner's 1986 film, Stand By Me! Starring Will Wheaton as Gordy, River Phoenix as Chris Chambers, Corey Feldman as Teddy, and Jerry O'Connell as Vern. As well, Kiefer Sutherland plays the neighborhood bully Ace. Stand By Me was adapted from the Stephen King book, The Body. And it's a coming of age story about four boys that go on a countryside hike looking for a dead missing body. The film is told as an author's extended recollection of a memory from when he was younger. As the four boys go running around town, they discover and rediscover new things about themselves and each other. There are several lessons to be learned, ladies and gentlemen. The character development in this film is incredible as we see the four different kids getting into all types of mischief, running away from dogs, getting leeches off of their legs while they're swimming, and running away from an incoming train. <coughs> All the actors have such amazing chemistry and they fit their roles so perfectly. All the different adventures that take place, they really engage the audience and keep them wanting more in every single scene. Especially as some of their older brothers and some of the neighborhood thugs like Ace, especially as they try to compete with them for who can get the body first and in the shortest amount of time. You know there's going to be trouble. There is going to be trouble in this film. What's really important to understand the backstory of each of the four main characters in order to fully comprehend the different themes and ideas that are brought up in this film. Gordy comes from a family that has pretty much rejected him ever since his older brother, who was a star of the football team, passed away. Then you have Chris, who comes from a family of alcoholics and criminals, and although a lot of the people in his neighborhood like to stereotype him because of that, he does a really good job of breaking away from the social stigma that it creates. Teddy is a little more flamboyant and he comes from a family where his father is mentally unstable and his dad actually brought his ear down to a stove. He has a very eccentric personality. And then you have Vern who is a little more over on the overweight side, he's shy, and he's always the guy that the bullies like to pick on. Stand By Me was nominated for one Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay and two Golden Globes, one for Rob Reiner for Best Director and one for Best Motion Picture in the Drama category. When I saw this film for the very first time, I could not believe how talented River Phoenix was. This is probably my favorite River Phoenix movie of all time. He just showed such a sense of truth and realness and his performance is so genuine and the fact that he was able to do that at such a young age says so much about his talent and made me want to have a Chris Chambers as a best friend. I wanted to be friends with all of them. I wanted different aspects of each of them in my life. That just shows you how great the character development was and just the relationships of the characters and just the characters overall because they're so unique and so full and rich and it's just so great to be able to watch that on screen especially from such young actors. Every young kid wants to emulate River Phoenix and his friends and every everyone wanted to reenact the scenes and do what they were doing because they just made you feel so happy and so alive. Every single element of this film from the acting, the directing, the writing, the cinematography and the soundtrack, which is also amazing. Every single aspect meshes together so perfectly and makes the film so exciting and so enjoyable to watch. Every single person that watches this film Everybody. can appreciate the importance of loyalty, standing up for yourself, and growing up by watching this film. Here are my three things that stand out to me about the themes from this film is friendship and loyalty. In this film, the four boys have such a great friendship, it really shows how important it is for us to be loyal to our friends and to always be giving to other people. Every single one of them represents four different, uniquely flawed characters who grow together and learn the importance of helping out your friend. The second thing is 
fighting predetermined destiny. This is especially relevant in River Phoenix's character Chris Chambers as Everyone thinks that he's going to end up being like his parents. He's going to become an alcoholic, go to jail, do a bunch of bad stuff. Well, you know what? He's going to fight that. He's going to fight this destiny that society has created for him. And he's going to go get a job. And as we find out later in the film, he ends up becoming a lawyer. So Chris Chambers' character is just such a great character. It's so exciting to watch him. And he fights the predetermined destiny that was created by his family and society. Also, Gordy decides that he needs to do what he's truly passionate about, which is writing. There's a really, really beautiful scene in the film between Gordy and Chris, in which Chris is telling Gordy to stop doing what his parents were telling him to do. His parents want him to take shop classes, and they want him to get involved with activities that he doesn't want to be a part of. He really wants to grow up and be a writer, and his parents are so against that, and a lot of it has to do with their insecurities that have risen from the death of his older brother. And this scene, again, shows how talented River Phoenix was as an actor. And then you also have Vern, who always had a very low self-esteem, and he never really felt like he could amount to much, and Teddy, who never really received the support he needed from his family. Yes. The overall idea of growing up and the reality of death. Every character has their own moment where they start to grow up and become not necessarily more mature, but they start viewing the world around them very differently. And everybody that watches the film can completely relate to every character's growing up moment. As well, we learn about the fact that death is a reality and it's going to happen and if we try to make our relationships with other people meaningful and we focus on giving to others and helping others reach their ultimate potential, then it can make death a beautiful thing that doesn't have to be sad and can help us carry on somebody's legacy. Which is exactly what Gordy does when he gets older by writing this entire recollection of his memories. He carries on the legacy of Chris Chambers and all the other characters in the film which is such a beautiful thing. Stand By Me is an absolute essential classic film as it makes you laugh when the kids are getting into trouble. It makes you cry when things get really serious and they help each other deal with their personal lives and their family lives. And it makes you think about how you can stand up for yourself and how you can be whoever you want to be, regardless of the perceptions that society has put on you. Thanks for watching my little video about STAND BY ME! Leave in the comments what movie you want me to talk about next, and like this video if you like Stand By Me as much as I do. Bye! Remember, have a film-tastic day!